flew out from Flagstaff yesterday morning uh, to Phoenix and then to Atlanta and then to Knoxville and lo and behold the the canvases were with him. We, we did talk about the theme that he has captured and uh, there are paintings as far back as Rembrandt and so on uh, called Resurrection. But this is moment of the resurrection and I think you will see that when, when we unveil it in a moment. While I'm in Tennessee, I'm gonna visit my cousins who live here in Nashville area and this is their house. And so I'm gonna stay here for a day and just hang out with my cousin Sean and her husband Steve and, and their dog and their kids, Taylor and Mike. Then broke through the walls inside And you called it deeper and deeper You called to find your life song that resounds in my head, in my heart, and you hold my world in your hands by the power of your scars, awaken my soul, awaken my hope, Tell Sounds in my head, in my heart. This piece is about capturing a, a particular emotion, uh, uh, the significance uh, of maybe one important aspect of the event that to me is the, the joy and the excitement of a mission accomplished. Your life, We all know that constructive criticism can be a good thing. It's just, it's just hard to make good use of it. One person mentioned that it looked like he was kind of going, ta-da! I decided, yeah, I guess I kind of agree with that. It does feel like he's kind of at the end of, of a magic show and saying that. So, on, on the big version, I slightly relaxed his hands and showed a little bit more of the bent wrist and angled his fingers slightly more downward, like he was shaking off those old linens and you know I, those little things were a big help to me. My brother Ben who edits these videos and does an excellent job, he likes to write stories and, and he was writing a script for a short film and so he shows it to some friends and they don't see the vision exactly like he intended it to be. He was really inspired doing this just like I'm always really inspired when, when I do a painting people who don't have that vision driving their imagination are relying 100% on 
what you, the creator, are giving them. What we as sensitive artists, if you're like me, tend to do is get discouraged by, oh, it didn't work, I didn't do it. But I think that it's usually just an issue of fine tuning to, to put some missing pieces in there so that you can impart the vision. He's going, ta-da, you know, they're addressing the mood of the picture. The, the mood of the picture is a specific goal of mine. I want this to have a particular mood, so that's valuable information to me, saying that maybe the mood I'm creating is a little bit off. And then I have to be the one that knows how to curve that and turn it more where I want it to go. But if someone said he ought to be uh, looking like he's very somber and compassionate and humble and he shouldn't look so excited. Okay, that, that also is an honest opinion that I have to respect, but it's, it's opposed to what I'm trying to do. Take the criticism that points you to where you want to go and don't think that you have to just throw your hands in the air and say it didn't work when it doesn't get imparted right away. You know, it's a process of manipulating it and using that feedback, using the feedback that is pointing you in the right direction. Sky Carl says he likes the alternative approach and a good job showing artists the way and, and I want to say thank you so much for that encouragement. What I really want to impart is just encouragement that these are things that can be learned. Dwayne Potkitter says that he's inspired to keep drawing and was ridiculed and this video uh, taught him to, to have patience and learn. Great! That's what I want. That's, that's very encouraging to me to hear that. He brings up one day he'll be teaching. That is a fantastic approach to learning is, is saying, if I was going to teach this to somebody, how would I explain it? Because that causes you to ask more questions, get more thorough answers and in the process of doing that you end up discovering more little things that, that can help you along the way. After a long time of thinking hard and studying the way sizes change with distance and looking in mirrors and considering angles and, and doing research, I realized that there was an identifiable system that could be described in simple math equations and then I started using it in my own work. And I wouldn't have done that had I not tried to make the video that was teaching. So in the process of trying to be a good teacher, I'm learning things that I never would have learned. And so just, just to encourage uh, Duane even further, that that is a great approach to learning is to aspire to be able to teach it. And uh, good job for putting aside the worry about ridicule. I, I, can't stress enough how that was a, a huge issue in my life. Let's say that we're all just pitted together in a prison and somebody starts trying to dig his way out with a spoon. And, and we're all just going to look at that guy and say, you are so ridiculous, you are not going to dig your way out of this with the spoon. What does that person have to lose, really? I mean, can you blame somebody for aspiring to something better? The truth is, in some amount of time, he's going to be further progressed. And those of us who are just looking on are not going to be further progressed. And there's really nothing lost. I mean, there's a point where you realize how meaningless so many things in this life are and there's just really nothing to lose by having people think that you are ridiculous. Keep making progress. I mean, that was the point that I had to come to. I, I realized the best friends, the best relationships that I have are the ones that are not based on anything that I can do well. It's not good to get caught up with how well you perform in technical things so much that, that you lose the joy of seeing yourself make progress. I mean, I may not have my hands tomorrow. I'm just, I'm just gonna see what they can do. I'm just gonna enjoy the thrill of seeing what they can do. Tons of vanarchy asks why I'm so shaky. And so I thought that was a, a good question. You know, why am I so shaky? You tell me, look at this, okay. That's as still as I can hold my hand at the moment. Now, I've heard of something called an essential tremor. I'm no expert on these things. But if that's what it is, then that's just what it is, and it's really nothing more. 
maybe I have a terrible disease. I don't know, but my dad was really shaky and I was always fascinated as he would, you know, pinstripe cars, he pinstriped and you have that long squirrel hair brush. His hand would shake, but the brush would be stuck to the car and just drag on a straight line. And he, he was really good at making these symmetrical patterns and real smooth curves. And I was fascinated that, but his hands were always shaky. And I remember watching him shake. Schwarzgardist uh, brings up some feedback that I really appreciate is, is that the simple tricks in a short amount of time uh, are valuable because he doesn't have a lot of time. Me as a researcher, I love spending time discovering new things, but everybody doesn't have to research and discover the same things. One person discovers something, everybody else gets to use it. And it's the joy of being the researcher to see other people use what you found to do even greater things than you've done. So, you know, believe it or not, my greatest hope is that, uh, is that a community of artists would be producing better work than I produce. You know, better looking and more detailed and more amazing and more 3D and everything that I try to find out how it works. If I could just be the guy that found the tricks to being able to do that, that, that gives me great satisfaction and a lot of thrill. And so to see other people do even better work than me is, is fantastic. You know, that would be the highest compliment that I could get is if someone could take what I've found and do work that I couldn't have even done. So thank you. Thank you for saying that. And it is my continuous goal to keep, to keep researching and finding the, the real honest answer of how things work. So that an artist can say, that is the tool that I need. That is the element that I have to include to get this effect. Well, thank you again for all of the, the good feedback and comments and for watching the video. And I hope to see you again next week.